la la, I don't have theme music, la la la. Hey everybody, I just saw the Nancy Drew movie, Nancy Drew The Hidden Staircase, so uh, this is a short video just uh, describing it, I don't have a lot of time. You have somewhere to be, Katie. Mm -hmm. So, sorry about that. Yep, I got places to be. <laughs> okay, so, um, uh, basically the, it, it, it sticks to the main Nancy Drew core that, you know, we've got this smart girl with, who's great at noticing small details and she's got a passion for justice and she likes solving mysteries. Um, I don't know if I can explain the entire thing in time. So it starts off, there's this guy who um, just pranks Bess because Bess is a nerd which is not at all like the books, but whatever. So um, Nancy wants to get revenge on him, so she plays an epic prank on him. She basically turns him blue and humiliates him in front of the whole school. But she gets in trouble for that, and she gets forced to do community service. And when she's um, doing community service, she finds out about another mystery. And um, basically the mystery is there's a haunting at Flora's house. And so she goes to the house, and she tries to solve Solve the mystery, figuring out what's going on. It's really actually scary. We've got scary scenes. Um, Flora's this cool older woman, so we get a couple of scenes of, you know, them having fun with the, the cool older lady, too. Um, let's see. They have the... Helen Corning's supposed to be, like, the, the popular rich girl, I guess. So her boyfriend is the one who is humiliated. So she kind of hates Nancy. And she's sort of Nancy's sidekick throughout the entire movie. Like, she's with Nancy the whole time. Is Shannon than... in the movie? Deirdre Shannon, she's basically the Deirdre Shannon type, but they call her Helen Corning because that was one of the Nancy Drew character names in the original series. Hey, I I have no problem with them keeping the names, the, the original names. I'm actually kind of glad they kept the names rather than changing everything. I My favorite part of the movie is the relationship between Nancy and her father, probably because I'm a dad, so they, they have a really loving relationship, and they're really strong and supporting. Apparently Nancy's mom just died recently, I think is one of the things they did. They kind of indicated she died recently, and so they just moved away from Chicago, and Nancy's still kind of not over that. And, um, let me see, I'm trying to remember what else. Oh, I, I told you about the, uh, there, there's a hot policeman guy who's like the assistant sheriff. He helps Nancy out a couple of times. There's no, like, Ned in the movie. There's no boyfriend, but he's sort of a love interest, but he's a police officer, so he's got to be at but least... It's too old for He's got to be at least 21. So let's say he's 21 or 22, and she's 16, so that's... He is too old for her. It's, it's kind of creepy, so... <laughs> but he's still the hot police officer who helps her out. I mean, come on. We come... all can't be Marcone, right? <laughs> okay. So, um... Let me see. Um, uh, it follows the the book a bit where uh, Nancy's father eventually gets kidnapped um, because of some real estate deal that he's planning, and that ends up being tied to the house. So the person basically uh, is trying to scare the old woman out of the house so he could buy up her property. Um, so they can make a train, and um, because Carson Drew was trying to get in the way, they, they kidnap Carson. That's sort of the end, where Nancy's dad and the old woman are uh, tied up with zip ties, and Nancy and um, Helen have to come in and save them. And, uh, you know, Nancy and Helen, it's, it's sort of a redemption story arc. Like, Nancy and Helen start out hating each other, but they eventually learn to become friends, and, you know, Helen learns to stop being such an evil, mean girl, um, in part because George gives her an impassioned speech about being a great person, because that, that was George's personality. She was, like, really passionate, um, w which works. I wonder if that work on Deirdre Shannon. Deirdre Shannon? Would Deirdre Shannon, could she be redeemed? By a fancy speech from Beth? <laughs> George gives her a big speech, and she's like, oh, guess what? I'm not a terrible person anymore, but... <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, and Nancy has an aunt named Helen. Helen is no longer her housekeeper, it's her cool aunt, and uh, her aunt's the one who watches her, obviously, while her dad's away and gets kidnapped. That was actually a pretty cool mystery, too, because it sort of developed. Nancy slowly realizes, where's dad? It's been 12 hours and he hasn't called me. Which, by the way, sounds super obsessive to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then later on, it's like, wait, it's been 15 hours and he hasn't called me. Something's really wrong. But, uh, okay, no spoilers as to, um, uh, uh, did I do a lot of spoilers? Yes, you should make a disclaimer. Oh yeah, okay. So, um... Uh, the surprise culprit ends up being Nancy's godfather, actually. Carson's best friend. So that, that was a really, um... That was a surprise that caught me off guard. Um, he did do a culprit giveaway, but, I mean, it still caught me off guard. Um, so overall, I'd say it's a good movie. I'd give it, like, a 6 or a 7. I'm clearly not the uh, target audience. But, you know, it's not bad for, you know, an empowering movie about a cool girl who solves mysteries. 
I did see one review which mentioned that uh, it's a little hopeful at the very end of the movie they start talking about book number four. They're like, whoa, maybe we'll go to this wedding and there will be a double by the lake, a double of Nancy Drew and, and we can solve another mystery. I'm like, somebody's thinking about sequels already, huh? <laughs> so um, that might be a little too hopeful, but it's still a good mystery. It's fun. I think that, um, like I said, Nancy's casting was good. Nancy's dad casting was good. And that was the highlight of the movie for me. So if you people have any questions, I know this was kind of a rushed video. I'll try to make a follow-up video sometime soon. So if you have questions, just leave a comment on the video and I'll try to address them. Okay, bye.